was the father's most favored son. He was despised and rejected by his brothers, right? And he was sold for silver. He was put down in that place of the condemned. Then he was raised up out of it and made the right-hand man of him who sat on the throne. He was given a Gentile bride. And then later he saves all of Israel. So this book is all about how we see Jesus foretold in this prophetic story, this true story of Joseph, my, one of my favorite characters in the Bible. His love and forgiveness alone were amazing. They were a miracle. How much love and, and chesed, if you're in Israel, the loving kindness and his tender mercies toward his brothers who were very harsh with him and thought he was long gone, dead, out of out of his life forever, but then he reveals that he's alive later and they rejoice. And it's beautiful. So this book that I wrote is all about that. This is a pretty good sized book. It's um it's like 254 pages. There's diagrams in there and lots of different things. And you're gonna see how Joseph was a picture and a type of Jesus Christ. So let, I've got a couple of slides I want to show you that uh, go into this. So Let's check it out. So that makes a great, this makes a great uh, Christmas present or a birthday present or just a present you want to give somebody who's like a Bible nerd like me. <laughs> you know, I love the reading the Bible, especially the Old Testament, um, just finding Jesus in that. So he had a miraculous birth, like I said before, by Israel's most favored woman. He was the father's most favored son. His own brothers despised and rejected him the first time, right? But he shared how they will bow down to him through those prophetic dreams. Remember that? And then they got more angry and they hated him even more, the, the Bible tells us. So Joseph, poor Joseph, he he was hated from the get-go. They were jealous of him. They were jealous of Jesus too, the Bible says. Uh, the religious leaders were. So let's continue on these slides here. His father sent him from Hebron, which actually means fellowship. Did you know that? Hebron means fellowship. So he was out, went, sent out of fellowship with his father to go to his brothers, the 12 tribes of Israel. His brothers were shepherds of the father's flock, and he finds them leading the flock in Dothan. Dothan means laws and customs. What were the Pharisees doing, doing the religious leaders doing? They were forcing laws and customs on people too, too much so. And they conspired to murder him. Remember that? They stripped him of his tunic, just like Jesus, right? He was sold for pieces of silver and this is an amazing thing, guys, because this story, check this out, this story was around 2,000 years before the birth of Christ, before Christ. That's what BC means. Isn't that amazing? 2,000 years before his Christ, Jesus was born, but it shows a picture of Jesus' story. So, hey, if you want to get this book, just go to Amazon. Uh, you can go there. You can go to barnesandnoble.com and a few other places like Apple iBooks if you want to get the e-version. But you can get a hard book. You can get a, a paperback book. Paperback book is, is only $17. It's a great deal. It makes a great Christmas present. They'll deliver it right to your door. This is what you, you, you can get for somebody's birthday present or for Christmas, whatever it is. This book, I guarantee you, will bless them. So... He was, let's continue on Joseph's story here. He was handed over to the Gentiles. He was falsely accused and sent to the place of the condemned. Wow. At the place of the condemned, there were two sent there with him. He tells one of them that he will be restored to life in three days. The other was cursed to death in three days. Remember the two that were on the crosses with Jesus? One lives. The other one was cursed. Later, he was raised up out of that place of the condemned and brought up before the throne. He was the only one found worthy in all of the land to reveal the secrets of God's future plan. There is no one who can interpret it, it says in Genesis, the Pharaoh said in Genesis chapter 41. And no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look into it. And I began to weep loudly, John said in the book of Revelation, because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to look into it. Revelation chapter 5, showing the same picture of Joseph's story when he was before the throne. He was given a Gentile bride after he interpreted those dreams and he was exalted and everyone had to bow a knee to him. And then he was given a Gentile bride. Wow. So after the great harvest later on, during the great the time of the great seven-year famine or the great trouble, Israel is saved. Oh, this shows us the picture of what God is going to do, my friend. Isn't this amazing? God foreknew this 2,000 years before the birth of Jesus. He puts a story 
this man who actually lived, this awesome hero of the Bible, Joseph or Yosef, if you're in Israel, my favorite guy, he always was. And then I discovered this later that, wow, he's a picture of Jesus, the Messiah, Yeshua Mashiach. This, he's a picture of him, guys. And this is amazing. So I hope this blesses you, you guys. And, and by the way, you can click on this playlist right here on how to find Jesus in the Old Testament or Jesus in the Tanakh. And you're going to be blessed by this playlist, you guys. There's videos on how we see Jesus in all of the Old Testament. And I know it'll bless you. So, hey, don't forget to get this book for somebody for Christmas or their birthday present. God bless you guys.